What's up, guys? Welcome back to uh, Almost Functional, the channel where I uh, pretend like I know what I'm talking about when it comes to 40K. Uh, today, I'm going to be building a uh, Space Wolf list, uh, 2,000 points, uh, kind of on the, uh, whatever I was going to call it, the Wolf Jail type of list. Um, going to be starting to get some more games in during the week. Uh, my weekends are kind of shot with work most of the time. Yeah, but I'm going to hopefully try to get a couple Saturdays off here and there to actually start making it back to events. Uh, I know that was some of the content that people like to watch the most was how my list did, what I would change, stuff like that at events. But if you don't mind, go ahead and give the channel a like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps me get content out to people. And uh, seeing the channel grow really gives me motivation to keep doing stuff, knowing that people are actually watching and engaging with it. And I'm not just on here uh, mostly talking to myself. Uh, but with that, I won't waste too much time. We'll go ahead and jump into uh, building this list. I'm going to be using uh, Battlescribe. I uh, haven't used it in a long time. I normally just use the app on my phone, but the Warhammer app doesn't work too well on the computer. So this is going to be the best way to... All right, I don't know how, how to remove my camera and still keep audio, so we'll just have to keep my face up here for you guys to see. Uh, so we're going to be making it 2,000 points. Go ahead and add the force here. Uh, Space Wolves, yes. Okay. All right, so then the attachment we're going to run is going to be the uh, Stormlands Task Force, because in the... Uh, Wolf Jail type list that uh, advance and charge is really nice. And the uh, auto advance nine can be really, really useful. Uh, 2,000 points. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start with the Space Wolves. Uh, or sorry, the Thunder Wolves. So right here we got the Thunder Wolf Cavalry. Uh, we're going to run them all with Storm Shields. So... That will be six guys with storm shields. Uh, they all come with heirloom weapons now, so there's no other options really need to choose here. We'll go ahead and duplicate this unit. I'm only going to run two squads of 12. I know some people have been running the uh, 18. Uh, personally, I think that just on most boards, like GW layout and stuff, it's just that's too many models, I think. They get kind of bogged down, and it just takes away from like other units you can use for scoring and stuff. So we're just going to leave the, the two six-mans, and then we're going to give uh, some characters to them. So we'll go back up here. We'll go uh, where? Right, we'll our battle leader on Thunderwolf. And then we're also going to go Wolf Lord on Thunderwolf. Wolf Lord, where is he? There he is. All right, so the battle leader, we're going to give him a storm shield. Can I not give him a storm shield? Oh, there it is, storm shield close combat weapon. And then we will give him a thunder hammer. And then the wolf lord, I believe we'll just go ahead and give him the same layout. I really like thunder hammers and storm shields. All right, and then we're actually going to duplicate them so that we can put them in each squad because Wolf Lords and Battle Leaders can join the same units. So that just gives us a really nice, fast punch unit to uh, run out and harass the enemy, which is what their main goal is in this list. Uh, so the next thing I want to add, which I add to pretty much all my Space Marine Armies is Infiltrators. We'll go ahead and give them the uh, Gauntlet. Uh, we'll leave them at a five-man. And I want to give them the Phobos Librarian so that they uh, can't be shot outside of 12 inches and add that in with the fact that you can't deep strike within 12 inches of them. Just really makes that a really nice, useful unit for holding your backfield. 
just sit back there and if you bubble out right people really have to come get them through the rest of your army uh so i also want to add some other characters i pretty much always bring ragnar i love ragnar and we're going to add logan uh we'll do foot logan because his ability for the uh, full rerolls and rerolls, full rerolls in combat to hit and rerolls of charges for one turn is really, really nice. Uh, I don't want to run them alone, so we'll go ahead and give them some help. We're going to give Blade Guard to Ragnar. Let's see, where's the Blade Guard? All right, we'll go ahead and give him a full six man Blade Guard squad. Uh, Sergeant, I won't give him any stuff. I'll just leave him just like everyone else. And we'll go ahead and give a uh, Wolf Guard Terminator squad to the uh, to Logan. So Wolf Guard Terminators will go Thunder Hammer, Storm Shield, and we'll do that for all of them. Only downside of the wolf guard is you got to do each model individually. All right, power fist down, storm shield, thunder hammer. Uh, this just gives a little durability to Logan. I've seen people run him on foot alone. I really don't like doing that. I don't. I feel like this gives him, they can drop somewhere and still have a little bit of a punch, especially with the advance and charge in this list. It really helps with the slow speed of the Terminators. And let's see, we've got Terminators. All right, we'll do one with a heavy weapon. So we'll give him Cyclone Missile Launcher. And then we'll give him the Thunder Hammer. And then up here, where's the other one? So we'll drop this one so we stay at a five man. All right, so one, two, three, four, five Terminators. All right, so that's our characters. So we've got six characters. No, seven characters. Got one, two, three, four, five. And then two names, six, seven. Uh, so these two both are in a unit. They have their unit. They have their unit. So now that puts us at 1,260 points. So that's most of our damage-dealing, hard-hitting threats. So now we need to start adding some stuff to uh, do more mission stuff. I am really liking Outriders right now. Uh, and with this being a mounted... You get a lot of buffs are mounted in the Stormland. So we'll go ahead and add two units of these in here. Uh, their sergeant doesn't really have much options. Nope. So they're just fast. They auto advance six, so you really don't have to use the strat on them if you don't want to. Uh, they also can help with the move blocking because they have big bases. They can go do a bunch of, uh, what do you call it, actions. Um, now this list will have to change when Pariah Nexus dropped because there's no battle line in it. So I'll probably do something once I the uh, Pride Nexus cards and read through them and I'll do a review on that and then I'll come back and either start from scratch or edit this list to what I think will play well in that. This is just for some Leviathan games I have going on this week. Uh, so then, so now we've got 395 points. So let's add some little stuff. We'll add a uh, scout spot in here. take the heavy weapon and the sniper rifle as well so then we'll drop two of these guys all right so where they are all right so the heavy weapon we'll go with the missile launcher and then the sergeant we'll give him a chain sword all right then i also want to add in a where is it i'm back down the mountain invader atv just because staying on the mounted as much as possible. I'll leave it with the onslaught because I have a lot of hard hitting in here, I believe. So that gives me just a little bit uh, or just mass shooting because 
I think orcs and gene stealer called all that coming out. It's going to be really big. Uh, so that leaves us 260 points. What do we want to do with 260 points? All right, wolf guard, stern guard. What does this list need? We've got some fast units to do objectives. We got one unit to hold the backfield. We got scouts that can pick up and redeploy. What is this list missing? For 260 points. Oh, I know exactly what it is. Inceptors. Inceptors are awesome at playing the missions. We'll give them a plasma exterminator. Uh, we'll leave them at three mans because they just drop in and within three inches and can do actions and mission stuff. And they actually shoot pretty decent with the uh, plasma. So we'll run two squads of them, and that'll put us at exactly 2,000 points. So this list is very fast. It has some durable units with good toughness that hit fairly hard with a decent amount of attacks. It's got some little trash units to score objectives and do actions. Uh, the infiltrators are great at bubbling out, protecting your backfield. Uh, the scouts can drop back there if we need them, pick up, go other places. The inceptors can drop really anywhere we want. Uh, so that gives us some good reserves. Uh, the terminators you can also drop in reserve if you want. And Logan, bring them in with rapid ingress or something. Um, so I really like the look of this list. I like to me it feels good. I like combat. So I've got a bunch of fast combat units. Uh, the blade guard and terminators aren't as fast, but the terminators give deep strike, and with advance and charge, this really helps with picking up their speed. Uh, but I also like that they're infantry so that they can go through walls, whereas a lot of the other lists, like the Thunderwolves and the bikes and stuff, can't. So it's nice to have a couple decently hitting units that can do that stuff, which can really help for taking the center objectives when your Thunderwolves or bikes have to go around. They can just kind of go through. You can stage them on the side of the walls and charge through instead of having to go around. Um, so I really like this. I got a game scheduled for next Wednesday. Uh, we'll see how this list plays, and I will let you guys know. Uh, and coming up soon, I will be doing some uh, reviews of the Chaos book, the Gene Steeler Cult and Sisters once they drop, the Pariah Nexus. Uh, we'll also be reviewing the Pariah Nexus on the Onslaught Gaming 40K channel, I believe, with uh, multiple people. But uh, these will just be the ones on my channel, really just be my personal takes, more just what I think, probably a little shorter shows than... Uh, what'll be on there, but they really will probably get more in depth and have more opinions on the OCS. I mean, if they disagree with me, they're probably wrong, honestly, but no, but seriously, uh, we have a lot of content coming up. I definitely am getting back to a lot more posting, probably multiple times per week, like I used to, now that I've got some things figured out with work and stuff in my life. And, uh, yeah, so I know a lot of people follow this channel for Space Wolves, but I'm definitely going to be having other content out there for everybody. Uh, so I want to thank you guys for watching. And once again, if you haven't, please like, please subscribe. We're going to have a lot more content coming out, and uh, we'll see you next time.